Alright guys, today we're working on a tub that's never been done before. This is actually the first video that we ever shot uh, when we first started using the material. Uh, it shot vertically, so we had to format it to landscape, but all looks pretty good here. Uh, so just a nice damaged tub. Comment below if your tub looks like this, and subscribe to our channel for more tips on how to make your tub great again. Alright, so here we go. Uh, we poured in the catalyst into the resin and now we're just going to start stirring it up. After about 10 minutes you'll see the consistency change and start to be more thick like this. You want to make sure you scrape all of the sides while you're stirring, all of the bottom. We don't want to leave any portion of this material unmixed because it will uh, potentially pose a problem later. Alright, so we're ready to go now. We've got all of our uh, unit all washed out. We've got it all taped up uh, Which we do show you more in depth in some of our training videos But from here the main thing that we're working on is just filling up our cup and just pouring more and more resin down the sides after doing this more frequently you come to Learn that the best way to do this is really just to unload as much as you can and flood the area having it run faster towards the bottom this gives you a more level finish but it also helps you finish a little bit faster uh, this took us a little bit longer than I had hoped it ended up taking probably about 40 minutes to get the whole uh, tub cast uh, obviously cut a little bit of that out of there but from here we're just gonna keep on scooping and pouring scooping and pouring
right, so now we're going to rake everything down uh, with the comb, which we pre-taped up. This is going to make everything nice and level. The earlier in the process that you can do this, the better. It's going to give you more of a level surface at the beginning, and then as the material runs down the side walls and pulls up on the bottom, after about a half an hour after you've finished raking it and popping the bubbles with the hair dryer, you can use the trowel tool to level it out and push all the excess material towards the center. This is going to leave you with a nice flat bottom without any big ridges in the bottom. If you have any questions about how the process goes or any specific step, either comment below or send us an email. I'm happy to answer any questions to help you have a much more smooth application and make sure that you get the product that you pay for. comes to the hair dryer or a heat gun you're not trying to push the material down or melt anything what you're trying to do with this is just pop any air pockets or air bubbles that you see in the bottom a lot of times when you use the comb it leaves tiny little bubbles and if you don't pop them there'll be craters in the finish uh, when the material cures out so you definitely want to just run over it quickly uh, with the with the hair dryer on hot or with a heat gun or a torch uh, not getting too close you're not pushing the material around like I said we're just leveling it out and popping any air bubbles another question we get a lot is what to do with the drain so as a homeowner doing the project by yourself it's pretty simple to deal with the drain. You just want to keep scooping off any excess material off of the tape that you have over the drain. 
for the first hour to two hours after you've completed the project. And then we're just going to go back periodically and just wipe off the tape, uh, bringing it right back down so that you can see the entire strip of tape where the area is. Once you remove the tape, you're going to want to keep, a, keep an eye on it and just make sure to wipe the excess that drips onto the drain cover. Uh, after Usually after two to three hours, there will be no more runoff and it won't go onto the drain any longer. But as a refinisher, sometimes it's best to offer a new drain installation or a new drain cover, which we provide on our website on the refinishbathproducts.com page. Uh, that cover allows you to put a small Dixie cup into the drain and once you level off the material enough and wipe it for a couple of hours you'll get a little bit of runoff onto the drain but our stick on drain covers screw right into a center screw cover or you can put the silicone material underneath it and that's going to bind the, uh, the new drain cover and new drain attachment to the actual drain area. Uh, leaving your customer with a brand new drain and overflow for their tub. Alright, and there we have the completed tub. Uh, this is the first unit that we ever used the casting resin on and the customer and myself were very happy with the results. If you'd like to see more videos like this, definitely check out our YouTube channel at refinishbathsolutions.com. Uh, you can click subscribe below. Uh, also comment if you have any questions about the process. Going forward we plan on setting up a series where we interview refinishers and give you our take on who the best refinisher in your area is. If there's any refinisher that you'd like to see a profile of, feel free to let us know by commenting below or shoot us an email at info at refinishbathsolutions.com. Have a great rest of the day and thanks for watching.